What is up today guys? Today we need to talk about toys. Toy Story 4 is going to come out this weekend and we're all kind of wondering, how is this a toy? Let's think. This is a toy. I tell you, I can fire on this room, my eyes closed. Do it. This is a toy. I'm part of the Roundup Gang with Jesse, Bullseye, and Stinky Pete. He is stinky, isn't he? This is not a toy, it's a deadly weapon. But this isn't even a deadly weapon, it's a spork. So I think my goal is to turn Forky into a toy. I'm gonna draw him as a toy in the form of a Marvel Legends toy. So here I have Killmonger and he's basically going to just give me the parts I need and I'll, I'll go from there. So I'm gonna pose him, I'm gonna like draw the pose and uh, use the parts. Basically this form, but Forky. So we're gonna turn Forky into a legitimate toy. Let's open up Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. If you saw my last video, I drew, boom, Forky. Just kind of get familiar with the character since I haven't seen him in a movie yet. Now I'm going to pose Killmonger and use this pose and this toy style as a reference. Pretty simple pose, but it's all we need. So we're gonna go for something like this. So let's go ahead and draw out the base shape of pose. Okay, so we have our toy construction. So now we need to uh, just add some forky details. That's what we're going for here. Let's grab ourselves a new color. A whole new color, new fantastic color. Okay, we're gonna try to stick to, stick to Forky as much as we can. We just wanna make him look cool and epic, like a Marvel Legends kind of toy. So that's the goal. Uh, do we wanna start with the face or not? I don't think we're gonna start with the face. Maybe we can start with, let's start with the arms. Forky has pipe cleaner for arms, I'm pretty sure. So we're not gonna give him like pipe cleaners or anything like that. We're gonna make him cool and we're gonna work with it. So maybe he's like an epic warrior dude and he's got like epic fuzzy shoulder pads. We can go with like a gladiator kind of thing. <gasps> if we used his sporky shape as a shield, that was cool. Over here you can see I had like, like a, I don't know, I was gonna put like a spork in his hand or something like, I'm thinking a spork shaped shield would be pretty freaking awesome. We'll go back to that. His pipe cleaners meet in the middle and kind of tie up. So these did something like this. Kind of like in that asymmetry. I feel like that he needs to have a kind of continue onto his back. I don't know, almost like a like a warrior kind of pelt on their it's pelt the right word. Just the fur on their back. They killed something. They're gonna sling it over their back, and you know it just happens to be like shoulder pads too. So I think that's pretty cool in terms of his uh, his fuzzy hands or whatever. Now on to that shield idea. Okay, so we have our shield. The cool part is we're gonna have it turn into a spork. I'm liking that as a shield. I think that's pretty cool. Let's just keep on jumping around. See what we find that we like. See what we find that we don't like. Onto the legs. I don't really have an idea because he's just a spork. Is that gum? And then a broken popsicle stick. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go with some sort of wood on the feet. What if he has a peg leg? That's something. A peg leg is certainly an idea. Let's sketch it in. Maybe we'll like it. I'm not gonna lie, part of me wants the peg leg because he kind of looks like he would walk funny with the two broken popsicle or the one broken popsicle stick. He looks like he'd kind of waddle. And I guess you would kind of do that with a peg leg. I, I've never met anyone with a peg leg before. So it's just a theory. So I kind of like it. However, I think I want it on the other leg. Then for he has the rainbow sticker on his left leg. So I'm gonna put the rainbow sticker on his peg leg and it's on his toe right here. Can we have the rainbow without having a rainbow? Follow me. What if we had layers to this? So on the sticker, there's purple, green, yellow, red. Watch this. So purple, green, yellow, red. We have a rainbow without copying a rainbow. I think that's pretty smart. I think it's gonna look cool colored. Now we need something wooden for his other leg. Maybe we're gonna do a nice just wooden boot, if that's even a thing. There's a snake in my boot. Well, there's wood on his boot. His boot's made of wood, something like that. Let's construct a nice wooden boot. Okay, so my idea with this is that the boot has a cool interlocking system so that, you know, when this character would be in the movie, it would like, kind of lock on, you know? So there's probably some hinges in the back that you can like open it up. 
and then it locks on in the front with the little latches. I think that's kind of cool. So we're gonna put buckles or whatever. Nice. Now in terms of that gum, shoot, you got me. I'm not gonna give them gum pants. I mean, that's just weird. So what could I do? Sticky glue tape. Hot glue, duct tape, gum. Gum is really tripping me up. What if he has gum armor? So if he gets hit with something, it just kind of sticks. Someone like swings their sword at him, it catches their sword. So maybe that has an actual purpose besides just checking off a box that we have to meet for four people. Gum armor on the leg. I think that might be pretty cool. Let's see if we can pull this off. Alrighty, so now he's got gum leg arm. I think it works for trying to check off gum on legs. I think it works. Forky has four things going on with his head that I wanna try to mimic somehow on this character. Number one, spork head. Number two, he has his red eyebrow thingy. Number three, different sized eyes. He has the blue lips being number four. So we have to find a way to incorporate all four of these things to this character. Does he maybe wear a helmet since he's a warrior? I think we're getting this. Kind of getting a Batman vibe right away. I think that's pretty nifty in terms of like a face guard a helmet. We can add some little straps so that you know, it stays on his head. And for the misshapen eye, this side completely intact. Now this one has got cracks running through it and everything. That's why it's bigger. A baboon. So now we need the brows and the lips. I don't know what the heck that is, but I think I like it. Okay, blue lips. Might just make the bottom of this helmet have some blue on it. I think that will be that. Enjoy the montage. It might be 5.15 in the morning, but I think it's very much worth the result we got. Forky, as he will be in the movie, as well as Forky if he were an actual action figure, rather than a spork and some gum and popsicle sticks and pipe cleaners. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of my Forky redesign. And after you see the movie, let me know what you think of Forky in the movie. I don't, I don't know what I think of him yet. I don't know if I'm gonna like him, but I will go in with an empty mind. Maybe Pixar will just kind of like make me like him. I don't know. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. So if you would please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.